Hi, I'm Tony Northrup. And I'm Chelsea Northrup. And today we're going to do a portfolio review of people who've submitted their portfolios to us. We have six different portfolios that we're going to be reviewing. One of these is a re-review from a previous review. Not only that, this is going to be the first portfolio review where we review portfolios from people that are not our readers. We finally got through the reader yeah, portfolio Yeah, we got through reviews. that cue. And... And... And this portfolio review is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for your professional website or portfolio. And if you want to try Squarespace and you want a discount, go to squarespace.com slash Tony and put in the coupon code portfolio and get 10% off. Yeah. They, they have fantastic designs. So if you are setting up a website, <laughs> do check that out. We will start by re-reviewing Capture Kings. He sent us an email after we first reviewed his website. What did he say? Thanks so much for your critiques. I've made big strides in making your suggestions come to life. Please thanks Chelsea as well. I look forward to hopefully your final review. I, I bet we can find a few things to provide oh, yeah. feedback about. So let's take a look. His design does look much better. It I does. love the redesign. I do too. He has a nice logo. Yeah, I like that too. And I like the um, layout of the pictures. It, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't fill the screen. That's one of the things I like to see. Um, but it's still nice and simple. But the arrangement is really nice. That poor child. Chelsea made the comment while we were getting ready that she hoped there was a body below these legs and this guy wasn't just holding disembodied legs. <laughs> it would be a really gruesome picture, but thankfully it seems to be a living person attached to the There's legs. There's a body. That'd be a whole different kind of picture. <laughs> Macaulay right. Culkin's little sister. I see a lot of variety here. I'm not seeing the same person over yeah, and over that's again. Good. Oh, and he finishes with himself. Good. We'd like to see a picture of yourself. All right. That's pretty cool. You want to go back up to the top and try the other menu items? Sure. The latest about me. Sounds like a blog. All right. Picture of yourself. Again, we applaud that. That's a lot of words. I, I'd probably go with fewer words. <laughs> People don't like a lot of words. What else? What I shoot and prices. Oh, cool. Events and pricing. nightlife, Excellent. portraits. Gotta have pricing on there. Everything is checking out. <laughs> That's really cute with the movie poster thing. I, I like that. That's clever. He's got a little video thing that he's doing too. Yeah, that's cool. The destination. The Capture oh. King film. Oh, I like that. That's cool. We're not going to watch the whole thing. But yeah. you can. You can but go I liked it. I liked where it was going. Um, Would, that's probably a horror movie if you get further into that. So. Oh, look. There he's like professional and here he's being badass. This is Two professional sides Capture of the King. Capture King. <laughs> All right, he's got his phone number, email address. You can click on that and it will open up. And let me see if these links now. All right, this that all, the man. I think your portfolio is coming together just great. Anything else you want to check out on his portfolio? Oh, I had one thing about his front page. Hmm. We'll go back. I think he could pare down the photos. Oh, because still too many photos, huh? This, okay, uh, there are some amazing pictures. Go up. This picture is <clears throat> excellent. This picture is really good. Um... He has a lot of good pictures, but then there's some that aren't quite up to the Capture King standard. <laughs> and I think, like, these two don't make interesting thumbnails, these two forest pictures. Yeah, they also aren't, like, nobody's going to hire you to say, like, hey, I have some woods. Would you mind doing a portrait of my trees? I would, but... <laughs> Most people won't. And this picture of this guy is great, but then this little stick teepee thing... I think it's a cool picture, but I think he could he could weed that out. Yeah, and this thumbnail, you can't even see what's going on there. It could be bigger. Like, if you're going to do that, make it bigger or crop it really tight, it does, even just for the sake of this picture. So you zoom in there and... That's a cute picture. Yeah, it is a cute picture. But if we're going to do it as a thumbnail, you'd have to crop it just really tight in. Yeah, so that's my only, my only feedback is that he could simplify this front page and just leave it for his very best pictures. I found yeah, for I, my... Uh, this one doesn't make much... I don't think that that's the Oregon Trail. You wouldn't understand. I got dysentery on the Oregon Trail, <laughs> I will have you know. I died hundreds of times before you were even born. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> we used to play it on Apple IIe's at school. Yeah, me too. Your school still had Apple IIe's. <laughs> I'm not from a wealthy place. <laughs> All right, where are we going now? What's up now? Um, I do want to point out, I made a portfolio checklist, which has all the things you should be checking out. 
So you can go to sdp.io slash portfolio checklist and open it up and just go through the list and make sure that you've done everything before you send that the portfolio That first one says, is your best picture the first thing you see? When we first <laughs> landed on this page, the first thing I saw was this tree picture for some reason. Yeah. Not the best picture. Okay. All right, let's go. Thank you, Capture King. Everlasting moments. Justin also want to know: Is there another Capture King? Why is this plural? You <laughs> we're, always, that? we're always nitpicking his his name. He's I, he's got the name now. He's not changing it, but it just. I don't think he should change it. I who like. Who are it. the other Capture Kings? I like to say it. I th I think the name's great. I just think maybe he's a twin, and that's how he's getting so much done. Uh, maybe, maybe I just he blew cloned your himself. mind. It's like Full House. We yeah. think there's one Capture King, but it's like twins or triplets. But don't spoil Full House for me. I haven't seen it yet. Is it like Game of Thrones? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Let's keep going. Everlasting moment in a day dot smug mug dot com. First, you should get your own domain name. It's not that hard. Squarespace can set that up for you if you decide to do that, or you can just get your name at at GoDaddy or whatever. It's it's Go easier ahead. if you use Squarespace. All right, we have a assortment of photos here. I, I don't see pricing, so I'm gonna assume this is just like an enthusiast portfolio. Okay, okay, an enthusiast. He loves America and that I respect. These cannot be clicked. What? So these are tiny pictures and they can't be clicked. My vision isn't that good. This background is crazy and distracting. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, we can't really even See your pictures. What is that one? It seems to have words on it, but I can't do anything with it. They say this web page is for eagles only. <laughs> <laughs> they have excellent vision and they love America. All right, let's get in there. There's. How do you get people to take pictures of him working? Is that him, you think? Yeah, he's handsome. He looks like a boxer. Like he'd punch my face right off. <laughs> yeah, he is a handsome devil and he's he will handsome. just beat the tar out of you if he sees you. All right, there's lots of pictures of him at work. Okay, so now we can actually, oh, it's this copyright thing. All right, so I, I, I'd i say our suggestions are gonna be pretty basic stuff. I would go through the portfolio checklist. The design could use some work, because even as we're browsing the larger pictures here, all we see are little tiny thumbnails. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I'd like, to, like it to fill up the screen. Yeah. I think some of these pictures are good. It doesn't seem cohesive, like I'm not sure. Oh, he could, he could add more categories, like America, my handsome face. <laughs> what I would do is I would also add an about slash contact page and put the picture of yourself there along with the description and contact information for you, assuming this is actually you. Maybe that's his friend, I'm not sure, because he doesn't have an about or contact mm -hmm, page. Mm -hmm. If that is you, definitely put one picture of yourself there, but at the same time, that means that somebody else took those pictures. So like there's a different photographer who took that picture. I'm not sure. Maybe he, maybe that's somebody different. Okay. I feel like we can move on to the next one. Okay. Thank you for submitting. Yeah, and just go through the checklist and we'd love to see an update of that. So do your worst, go through the checklist mm -hmm. and let us look at it again. Yeah. Ooh, a cedar waxwing is one of my favorite birds. They're really I love shy them though. Too. That, that's a nice picture. Let's see if I can zoom in. Okay. It zooms in, but it opens in a different window. This is his Flickr page, and and that's okay to send us your Flickr page. Uh, you can definitely get more control over the layout if you go with something like Squarespace. And stop being so popular. <laughs> Uh, and also Flickr is kind of oriented around putting up a whole bunch of pictures like they have photo streams for like yeah, everything you do yeah. during the day. I don't that's, like that. That's something different from a portfolio. I gotta a portfolio say, is my best 10 to 15 pictures. Right. It's cleaned up. Yeah. It's professional. It's presented well because a lot of people send us their portfolios. I get so many emails where people are like, can you just take a quick look at my, my portfolio and I'll click on it and I'll see a hundred pictures and I just leave. I don't have time for that. I don't think... I don't think people want a huge commitment. Yeah, yeah, nobody does. I mean, how many pictures? See, this guy, you've just got a lot of pictures there. So this is something Wait, different than a portfolio. Whoa, go up. I saw something that caught my eye. Oh, oh, he's got lens dust. Sensor dust. Look. Oh, yeah, look at all that sensor dust. You gotta, you've got to get rid of that, man. So clean that sensor. Chapter 5 of Stunning Digital Photography. This is a lot of pictures, so I know it's really hard, but you just want to pick the best ones. Well, what if we go to favorites? Oh, Maybe favorites. that's a better okay. thing to do. Let's check it out. Okay. Oh, well, first, beautiful. let's see just how many pictures there are. This is still, and well, these are my pictures. 
<laughs> Wait, how the heck? Oh, I no, don't know. these are his oh, favorites. Oh, these are pictures that he's oh, favorite. Oh, well, thank so you then. Oh, that's sweet. And look, that's by Chris Rao. That's nice. I got confused. I was like, this guy has eerily similar pictures. Really nice. Well, thank you. Oh, that's Chris, too. It's got a frog. Chris is our friend. Chris is our friend. Um, okay. Oh, butts. Butts. Okay, maybe he has he likes butts. stuff under the sets. Butt sets? Okay, so this is looking more like a portfolio. Uh, some of these still have like 45 bird pictures. Is too many. Maybe we can help him weed this down a little bit. Oh my gosh, that, that robin looks like it's wearing bloomers. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> that cute. That is really cute. Let's see if it's nice and sharp. It's fairly sharp. Um, so we can do a lot of weeding down here. Now, as a general rule in a portfolio, you want, if you're doing wildlife, one picture per species. Pick, Pick your, your best, best red-winged red blackbird. Bird, yeah. Your best egret or heron. Yeah. I can't see the feet very well. Um, and put that up. Uh, also, be sure to make good thumbnails, because like this should be cropped way down. Those little if you're gonna use it. swallows are a bitch to photograph. Yeah, they move real fast. Those little GBH. Oh, look, he got a kingfisher. Mm, trying really hard to get a kingfisher for like three years now. <laughs> look at a little baby in a nest. It's like a little robin. All right. So our advice to him is to pare it down, choose his best pictures, your best photo per species. Unless you make a whole folder or something. I know Chris Rao has a lot of offspray, so he has a lot of good photos. But yeah, it's just too many so far. But you have a lot of good pictures. It's hard to see them because there are so many. Yep, so pare that down. I remember seeing this in the group. I pay attention. Yeah, I do like that picture. And again, Flickr's not really a portfolio site, because that's where you put everything, and this is the problem that you run into. You want to show us just your best work, because then we'll be impressed. I bet if you, instead of trying to filter through 200 pictures to find your best 15 pictures, if we just saw your best 15 pictures, we'd be blown away we'd by them. We'd be so impressed. So if you were to set up a portfolio, like how would somebody go about doing that? Pray. Would you pray to hire an expensive web designer? Pray to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you pray. Get Squarespace. Yeah, you could go to squarespace.com slash Tony and... Use the coupon code portfolio to get 10% off. If you decide Actually, to sign up because you get 14 days free, no credit card required. So you can just go there and play. Just put up all the pictures you want and, well... Pared down to 15 pictures. Well, I thought I actually found that making my portfolio was really helpful because I was forced to choose my favorite pictures. So even if you don't want to commit to the Squarespace, if you don't want to pay, you wish I would stop talking about it already, you really should just go there and use their free trial because it forces you to find your best pictures and it forces you to see how much easier it is to navigate your site if it's organized well and it's presented in a cohesive way. You can't just add picture after picture after picture and expect to hold people's attention. It has to be thought out. It's like when you go to an art gallery, they don't just put every piece of art there, they put the best and they put it in in an order that makes sense. So yeah, try that. Try Squarespace. Go there. Put up a free portfolio. Yeah, you don't have to be a technical person. It's no. literally drag and drop. And if something goes wrong... Even Tony could do it. Even Tony could do it. If something <laughs> goes wrong, you can contact their support. 24-7. They usually get back to you in an hour. It's 24-7. Yeah. It's called the Care Bear Lair. Because they care. They're really nice people. They're also bears, which I find impressive. Yeah, they're well-trained bears. Very but well. they work cheaply that way. Yeah, it's very cheap labor. Yeah, the, you can't get any support in the winter, though, because everybody's hibernating. It's very controversial. Yeah, but you can't discriminate against bears. No, I wouldn't. And it's not just for portfolios. So if you're a dentist or a chiropractor or something, you need a website, a lawyer, go there and set it up. They, they have an amazing design for photographers though. Everything fills the screen really nice. This fills the screen, which is good. It's also automatic. Free e-commerce. Mobile friendly. Yes, everybody a gets a store even at the most basic service level, which I think is eight bucks a month. Eight dollars a month. All right. Well, Squarespace is a sponsor, but we actually love them and we both use them for our portfolios. And even in our personal lives, we tell people to use them. And people are often like, I already do. I love them. I know. Katie, I was talking to Katie yeah. and she said, I already have Squarespace and I really love them. And they are great. They are really great. So... You should go for it. All right, let's, let's go to our next go one. On to Capture Thanks the for magic. making me a drink. Oh, that is really cute. What are you drinking tonight, Chels? Booze. <laughs> just generic booze. Booze in a it cup. Just a big white jug with three X's written on it. <laughs> you made me amaretto and soco. And me, I'm drinking Dogfish, Dogfish Head, Head, the 60 Minute IPA. They're not sponsors. We just like. I wish they booze, were. So. I bet we'd make money. I'd work for free booze. <laughs> they just send us beer. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. We His have the cute babies. Adorbs. 
Good Adorbs. design so far. That seems to fill the screen. How do you feel about that Dutch tilt? I like it. It's a good amount of Dutch tilt. Not a 45 degree angle. It's not a two degree angle. It's it's nice. It conveys some action. I can't seem to. Well, let's go somewhere else. Let's go to the wedding menu. I'm just going to try to reload it, maybe. Oh, you think it's just broken? Uh, how, how do you say that name? I don't have very good eyes. Zuniga? Josu Zuniga. Josu? Josu, I can't manage to scroll about your webpage. I like how you trust me. I can't me manage to... to pronounce names. See, it oh. lets me... Okay, so we're okay, having so some give up. technical... Let's go to wedding. I think they only put... They put one picture up Can on you the use the page. arrows? No, I tried that. Oh. So go ahead and load your portfolio into the homepage so somebody doesn't get frustrated because that's going to be their first experience. Uh, mm. Oh, oh, see, these dots show how many pictures there are. It had one dot. So they just put one dot. At the, put more pictures in your home. Put more pictures. This we is rarely the other tell thing. people to put more pictures. I there. have found, I have a Squarespace portfolio, as I mentioned, and they give you analytics. So <clears throat> they tell you how many people have clicked on your portfolio. And oh, everything. I love the analytics. Yeah, yeah, those are the best. I know. I've been looking at those. And I found that people only look, most people, 99.9% .9 of people only look look at my first page, which is only six pictures. They see six pictures and they're like, that's enough. My pricing and my about page, which is one sentence. So I've got to, I've got to up my <laughs> game there. But uh, your front landing page is really important. People don't want to click into menus. And I actually am on YouTube and stuff and people know who I am and they just don't give a crap about my pictures. So imagine how they feel about everyone else. You just have to keep it simple. Yeah, the easy. number one mistake people make on the internet in general is they overestimate people's attention span. I people don't have very short attention spans. I'm already They're not gonna give you attention. seconds, seconds of seconds. their time, not a full minute. You will be lucky to get any clicks. So you need to make the very most out of where they land. You need to make that front I mean, page spectacular stuff. Yeah, and that's why attention if you look game. at ads, they're flashing. There's naked ladies in them. I mean, people are really trying hard to grab your attention for more than just a second, and you're competing with everything else on the internet. So you really have to step your game up. I actually think these naked man. pictures are generally pretty great, and I like just about all of these better yeah. than that. Uh, no offense to the baby on the front page, but again, you need something with pop. So I would pick your picture with the most pop and make that the front page because that's what's going to convince somebody to make a second click. And again, yeah. that's not easy. So a lot of these pictures have a good amount of pop. That one's a tiny bit out of focus. That's uh, a cool this picture. is nice. This might be a great picture to lead with. That's a cool I picture. I love the umbrellas in the picture. Uh, I might different, tighten that crop up a little bit. Different pictures are gonna, going to attract different people. Yeah, See, so we have pictures of the same person several times in a sequence and see these pictures are very similar so you want to avoid that i would pick one pick your favorite pick that one and just drop that picture that's a cool shot too yeah um same thing i like this the second one's cooler one. so yeah. drop that one one picture per subject I, if you much. can't decide ask somebody else i usually ask tony or justin and they're pretty tired of me asking and they're really supportive too so you might want to pick someone more critical um this is something i haven't thought about before but one of the struggles with a portfolio is these vertical pictures because most people view them on a horizontal screen like yeah, this. Yeah you put two. And, and you put two side by side that's really clever you could even maybe do three side by side. That's cool. I like that idea. That's nice. That was smart. I'm gonna steal that. <laughs> so this is the same gal right? Yeah. I think this picture has more pop don't you? Um I don't okay we're disagreeing so maybe I don't know I think she I think she's making a weird face in the other picture. It looks like she's about to say pop. <laughs> okay, that's that's valid. That's, that's the, the same, same person girl again. Too. Okay, so too many pictures of the Get same person the, in a row. Those ones, or in the very least, mix them up. Don't put them in. in Maybe you a could row. trick someone with a very short memory. But okay, good work on that. Let's cool. Let's go to wedding. That's cute. Yeah, that's a really nice cute picture. Cute to boot. That one's cute too. Good expressions in that. Again with the Dutch angle. I like it. I, He's I don't grossed know. out. <laughs> what is he like? A ten-year-old boy? He's like kissing. Poop. I love him. I agree with him. Gross. This picture doesn't convey anything to me. That might have been some important moment, but it looks I don't... like he's reading to the trees. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. That's this a great nice. picture. Also, a nice picture. Oh, that, that this might be the first picture you think. This is the one that grabbed me the most. <laughs> Sorry. That was the girliest sneeze I've ever seen. I'll prepare for numbers two and three. They're coming. Chelsea can, doesn't sneeze in once. I can sneeze just once, okay? Oh my god, your head is going to explode now because you're going to be trying so hard not to sneeze. That one's really cute. Yeah, it might be 
Well, There's a lot like of the same okay. couple. Just pick your best ones. Oh, okay. So we have. Is that? Oh, okay. that's, that's a different person. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we might just. We want a lot. See a lot of variety. Yeah. We're gonna get bored if we see the same person over and over again. Yeah. So if you have other people, mix them in there. Um, oh. Your watermarks are inconsistent. Like no watermark, and then the watermark up here. So I'd I don't blame them because I'd probably be too lazy to go back. And these are the should. same picture. So get rid of this one. Go with the previous one. Um, nice. I actually like the uh, composition on that. That's that's nice and a good moment too. Oh, that's nice too. Uh, we're I gonna like pick one, one of these, right? I like the second one. So okay, drop that first one. Go with this one. Too similar. Um, but yeah, I I love the composition of that. That's really nice. So we had a whole bunch of pictures of one couple at first, and then we switched to another lady. Mix them up. Mix them up. Yeah, variety. Then use a crop. Um, this looks like it was really nice, beautiful light, but there's just like a lot going on in well, the background. I'd get rid of like signs. the garbage can and the signs and this guy, this couple, this stuff. It needs a little cleaning up. Yeah. That's a nice picture. Yeah. These two bros. I'd crop this, I'd crop that. Crop this, crop that. You should make a song. <laughs> crap it. Crap Tony's it. theme song. Crap it like it's hot. Crap it like it's hot. You should do that one. You're a gangster, Tone. <laughs> this is the guy I think that thought kissing was disgusting. Yeah, he was, he's got really vivid expressions. I, 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 I immediately like wondered like what was going on in this guy's head. We're okay, at the beginning. Okay, we I like this, I like this person. They have a ton of pictures, but yeah. they're, they're fun. Oh. I didn't expect wow. to see nipples today. <laughs> I don't know what event this could be. All right, I guess it's some sort of fashion thing and not just a nipple showcase. It's not fashion without nipples. That's what my grandma always said. My grandma didn't say that. She was British, so that wouldn't happen. Oh. <laughs> I just thought to call her Nicholas Cage. I don't know why. She doesn't much look like Nicholas Cage. I don't know, but that came to my mind. Nicholas Cage. We're very immature. I'm I'm I have the maturity level of like a six year old boy, so I can't handle this kind of stuff. Let's okay, go to a Let's see if we can buy this on a canvas. I say it goes to five hundred picks. Not Sorry. Okay, that's not good. No such page. You don't want four oh fours to pop up by download. By download. Oh good, so we can all right. So we could get a high resolution version of Nipolis Cage. <laughs> Don't call her Nipolis Cage. <laughs> um, but definitely check every link on your website and make sure stuff isn't broken. About. I got me up. Under maintenance. Oh, that's no. the, we don't want to see that. Who is maintenance? <laughs> now, I, you know what? Rule about, about wordplay <laughs> jokes. You know what? You can't make me a Soko and Amaretto and not expect <laughs> nipple jokes and stupid wordplay <laughs> so let's get that straight right now that's why you should serve me milk contact i think we can just drop the contact page because your about page has your contact yeah, make it about slash contact because nobody we hate these forms i'm speaking for humanity we have those on our website i'm so sorry don't use that we didn't um, do it how do you feel about their domain name it seems obvious it's their name.com but they can't exactly be like Oh, you're you run into somebody in the street. You can't be like, hey, you, you're looking for a photographer. Just go to Josuizinga Zuniga. Well, I that's, think they have a difficult to spell name. I think that's very Anglo-centric, Tony. Well, uh, perhaps they're in a place where people immediately know how to spell this person's name. But I would guess most people have difficult. Where is many people have difficult spelling. Where names. is this? I do. I own both Northrop R U P and Northrop R O P Photography dot com. Because if people misspell Northrop, which I do all the time, then they'll be directed to the right place. If you have a name that's difficult to spell, then you need to think about that. Capture King's kind of figured this out. His name would be difficult to spell, so he went with something other than his name. Capture but... King. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he'll sponsor us. <laughs> I'm totally, okay, that. I don't want to derail it, but he's absolutely right. So maybe you could go with like, J-U photo, <clears throat> or like, I don't know. And you know, looking at my checklist here, which you should do, scp.io slash photography, scp.io slash portfolio checklist. <laughs> no music or under construction. Yeah, you, you had an under construction. The best picture was not the first thing that you saw. Did mostly fill it up and you had a good number of pictures, so that's good. But 
think about search engine optimization and how people are going to find you. I do not know where you are or how I can hire you. There's no pricing page Where are here. you? If it doesn't I... say where you are. And if I'm hiring a photographer, I want to know that you're in my local area and there's nothing for the search engines to grab onto because you want people to find you if they're looking for Akron, Ohio photographers. So you need to put in there Akron, Ohio photographer. That's the only way the search engines are going to latch onto you. SEO, search engine optimization. It's a smart thing to do. And you'll just get more business and must have pricing. So make those updates, send us a note, and we will re-review your portfolio. Thanks for sending it in. Ooh, this person's name. I got it. Go for it. Panayoyotes Kirakikao. I, I believe you. I know. I have the accent down. Well, that's not good. Let's try the reloading group. it. Yeah, maybe. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, I'm really sorry this, if this I botched your name. This domain name could be difficult too. Again, mm. come up with a pseudonym like Captured Kings if, if your name is going to be difficult for people to spell. Kriaku. You should try. I, you can't let your wife just botch someone's. Oh my gosh, that photo is beautiful. Kariakau. Kariakau. That was good. That was better than mine. How about the first one? Penny. You. <laughs> Peniotis, Peniotis, Kiriakau. Kiriakau. <laughs> no idea. But their pictures are amazing. Yeah, these are wonderful pictures. I cannot click them, and I can't seem to control the pacing of the pictures. You know, it's nice to have little left and right controls if you're going to do something like this. Most people have control issues. Yeah, again, this goes back to the attention span thing. This Nobody like sits there and ponders your pictures. No. I don't even like to look at my own pictures I for that long. all the templates at Squarespace allow you to do that, so consider something like I that. I love Squarespace. I wish they would sponsor us. Gorgeous picture. That's beautiful. Let's go to collections. Also, there's no thumbnails. I like to be able to browse stuff, but maybe it's just their homepage. Silky yeah. waters. I like the word collections. Experimental. This person's what do you feel crazy. Going towards? Experimental. This could be dangerous, Chels. Have you seen Back to the Future? I think we're going to see Nicolas Cage again. <laughs> Bring it around. You know, poor Nicolas. <laughs> oh, this, these are really cool. These are cool, man. You are my friend now. I really like all these. Damn, these are cool. Uh, this guy's on acid. <laughs> <laughs> we don't we don't know that this person, male or female, we don't know the gender, nor do we know their drug use habits. <laughs> if I had to make <laughs> a guess. Say that officially. If you had to make a guess. <laughs> so we have some control. Beautiful. Here. This picture's great. It's better than than that picture. So mm -hmm. I would drop this picture. I would go with that. Some stuff to narrow down. Um, again, yeah, I would I would just pick your best couple of waterfall pictures. These are too many waterfall pictures. Well, you know, the folder is called Silky Waters, but I think a good number of pictures to have is like six, nine. Yeah. Uh, another thing I'm missing here is some thumbnails because it can be a good way to, to browse. I don't some know how many. Of how many pictures I you agree have. with you. When you're getting into it, if I start clicking, the first thing I think <clears> I start <throat> thinking is like, how long? How many sink, silky waters will I see? Yeah, imagine you went into a movie at a movie theater and you didn't know if the movie was going to be two minutes or eight hours. <laughs> like, you want to know like what you're going through, right? Yeah. Yeah. Magical. What was it called? Landscapes. Oh, he does have magical landscapes. That that's a magical landscape. That yeah, that gorgeous. is gorgeous. Let's keep going. Just gorgeous. Unbreachable. Oh, I love his names. This is a creative person. Very nice. Yeah, I, I do like the creative use of names. I like this person. Oh, I like the shadows in that one. That's nice. Um, yeah, and actually, I'm not seeing any of these that feel like they should be removed. That was a good number of pictures. That's a great collection. Nicely done. I kind of want to see their stars. Street portraits? This person has it all. Wait, I saw that picture before. No, you didn't. The, oh, that one? Yeah. I did. did. That was a, also a magical landscape. Well, I think that's okay. I think it's all right. We can He's disagree. Get in trouble. With you? Beautiful star trails. Uh, I feel like we could drop that picture. That I just feel like this person understands the beauty of life. Yeah, I, I, I absolutely love their work. 
Me too. And you know what the layout? It could use a couple of tweaks, but it's pretty good overall. Yeah, it's good. It's clean. I actually would add one more category just to make it symmetrical. Yeah. But like then again, I'm a freak. Grid. Where is this person? Let's find out where they live. Go to contact or about. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. <gasps> Justin, Justin with a refill. This is going to get really crazy. You thought Nipolis Cage was bad? This going to be a problem. Two drinks. <clears throat> Let's find out about this person. Okay. Okay, we, we need to make every word count. I've been a writer since I was 22, and I'm 107 now, so I've been doing this for a long oh time. God. And you have to, on the internet, you have to make every single word count. And you started by saying this website is devoted to photography and other related visual arts. I know that. We, we got that. And right away, any human being will just tune out. They'll be like, I know that. And then they will start skipping down. You have to make every single word count. Ask yourself, can I remove this one word? And if you can, then you need to cut it. So That's why your book, people like your book, because it's just so concise. Yeah, you just got to get to I the don't want to read people this. People do Let's not see have patience. It's not contact. me. It's just the modern world. You have a lot of patience, actually. You use me as your barometer for the average person's attention span because I have, like, below that. Yeah, well, I come from a time when it took, you know, six to eight months to go coast to coast, to travel coast to coast. Yeah. So I do have a lot you of patience. You had to dip your own candles before you had light. Yeah. Okay, so they have pricing for their prints, but then there's no way to order them. There's a lot of words. I'm just trying to see how to... Yeah, you're going to be losing customers here. We're giving Americans a bad name. We're always like, so many words. <laughs> Papalopoulos Karakaku. We're like the stupidest. I, I write 1,200 page books. And this seems daunting to me. If you are looking to buy something, you want to be able to get to it real quick. Uh, I don't know. How would this guy go about setting up an e-commerce store to sell prints? Is there any way to do that? Squarespace. Squarespace.com slash Tony. <laughs> and then use coupon code portfolio. E-commerce sites are included. You led in me into that one. Every website. <laughs> you really got me on that one. Justin, thank you. Did I hear you laugh from upstairs yeah. or did I imagine yeah. that? Is it oh, because I said yeah. Oh, yeah. I said Tony dips his own candles. Yeah. <laughs> he does. All right, let's see what the blog is like. It's news, Tony. It's not a blog. Oh, it's titled Essays. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of words here. Wouldn't it be weird if there were general news? Like he was like, oh, things not going so great in Crimea. Where is that airplane? All right, it's cool. recent. There are pictures there. I like the news thing. Where's his picture? I want to see him. Oh, on his about page? Did we look at this already? Yeah. So we didn't have a picture there, he or she. There should be a picture of you. We want to get to know you on the about page. Oh, this should also know. be contact info. There is I want to know where this person there. lives so I can go to their no, house. Okay. Hey, thanks for submitting that pen. We're on like, like a first syllable basis. Oh, yeah. You really got close to that person fast. We've been to the Eiffel Tower. Hey, you know what? I like this guy's domain name. His name, again, would be tough for many of us to spell. IBH4. Snappy and easy to remember, unique, I nicely done. That's so much better than Ibrahim al -Samnan You know what it reminds me of? UB40. Remember that band? <laughs> red, red wine, you make me feel so fine all of the time. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't say to stop, though. Sorry. That's all I know. All right, let's see more. Okay. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. That's a lot of symmetry, and that's I'm into angle. it. Great shot. I think you can even see stars in that picture. You're an Eiffel Tower wizard. Okay, so this there are, getting... are great pictures in there. <gasps> Wait, uh, we've been Salzburg. here. We've been there. I knew, I recognized. Wait, how do you know it's Salzburg? Oh, it says Salzburg. Oh, does it? Right there. Oh. You just guessed? Well, I've been there. You're a genius. You. You're a <laughs> genius. I just remembered that. But I didn't find this angle. Well, you found the spot because I was looking loser. everywhere for that. You should have called IB40 before you did you, this. You beat me. You'll see. There's examples. Istanbul. The no, yeah, we're going there. I think. I wonder if that's the bridge that goes from Europe to Asia. Probably not. It doesn't look like that. Arc de Triomphe. This must. That must be Dubai. Gosh, we need to call this person and travel with them. They're cool, man. What's is that Austria again? Yeah, that's Salzburg again. Okay, so we have to narrow this down a little bit. I would pick one, maybe two pictures of the Eiffel Tower tops. Yeah. 
We love you, but it's getting redundant. Yeah, we got it with the Eiffel Tower. London. It's Europeans are so the lucky. Tower. They can go to like 20 countries like and just fly like two hours. Whereas, oh, I know. Do you know what a pain it is to be in the U.S.? We have to fly like eight hours either way just to get to another country. That's why we're so stupid. Yeah, if we drive two hours someplace, we're in New Hampshire. You, you're in an entirely different country with a different culture and yeah. language and currency. New Hampshire sucks. Don't say that. I like New Hampshire. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's <laughs> fine. Okay, street photography. This layout is odd. See, the layout just changed. Before it was this, mm. and I just learned to use the site, and now what is that? Spec. the user interface changes. What's back where? Right here. Is that a man? Uh, we'll never know. Okay, so I would stick with one user interface for all these, and these are way too many pictures. That's 10 too to many, 15 man. pictures per category. I was on board with you until I saw this. So you want to... That guy's dead. Pick a couple to go into, or do we just leave them Look with, at that. This is too many pictures. I think he needs to just pare it down and choose his best pictures. Those leaves, yeah, they're not cutting the mustard. Is, is nobody can go through this many pictures. And again, with the Eiffel Tower, we got to... I love the Eiffel Tower, but... I'm not saying I'm against the Eiffel Tower. I think you've taken I'm that just position for a many variety. times. You hate <laughs> okay, the Eiffel good. Tower. Now we're back to the user interface I'm more comfortable with. Oh, landscapes. Landscapes. Oh, it's all about your comfort? <laughs> Typical American. Silky waters. Who's that guy? What's he running from, I wonder? Chupacara. <laughs> Chupacabra. <laughs> that just really made me laugh. <laughs> Chupacabra reference got you. <laughs> oh, that's a nice picture. The landscape is a dirty lie. <laughs> I've never seen a bigger lie than that. Yeah. Skyscape. Oh. Where's this? Switzerland? What do you with that? That's the best picture. That's gorgeous. I don't think that's Switzerland. Look at Why that not? roof line there. It's not Swiss architecture. But the Swiss... Mm, or that. Oh, that's like... Yeah, it looks... That's from the future, it looks man. It like Istanbul, maybe, or somewhere in Turkey. I don't know. What's this, Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, these are Brazilian windmills. Brazilian windmill. <laughs> Um, we can drop that picture. I like this guy. Yeah, okay. So we could do some paring down in there. Pair it down. Okay, so his blog's up to date. Sometimes it's fun to just see how Google will translate something. Arabic. Okay. I want to go to the Middle East. Nobody wants to invite me. Oh, all right, good. So yeah. look, he has an about page in both Arabic and English. That's really nice. Thoughtful for us Americans. Who oh, he said his portfolio Arabic. needs some work. There's something sweet about that. Well, I actually feel like his body of work is there. I feel like he, the tweaks he has to make are, are pretty small compared to what we generally see. You, you have a fantastic body of work. You do. You have a fantastic body of work. Good assortment of equipment, too. Yeah. You go, man. I like the Mark too. But you know what? I will say... Nobody likes to see the, this site is under construction thing. I thought it humbled him, but I think if he deletes it, that's fine too. I like when photographers are humble. What's worse than the photographer that just thinks they're amazing all the time? That's my bugaboo. Yeah, and there is a little redundancy here. I'm a photographer who wants to show his work on this website. Like, I understand that. Yeah, but maybe Google Translate is screwing with you right now. This isn't, this is just what he wrote. But I'm just saying that's... He oh, oh, he just translates it too? The words up. Yeah, he does that for us. He's, cool, he's got to contact me. Let's contact him right now. Oh, I have to put my name? I, I don't think it will know if you lie about your name. Uh oh. But there are many people who will know. What do you mean? Drunk Nobody typing. knows. Drunk typing. Is that my email address? Yeah, right. that looks accurate to me. What's up, <laughs> my B? All right. Oh, accidental cap flop. No turning back down. Message. I like you just the way you are, which is a quote by Billy Joel. <laughs> so I'm going to submit that, and he's going to be like, wow, ah, thank you. Uh, you are welcome. You're welcome. Not everybody gets that. Was oh, that our last one? 
That's all we have for now. We did it. We did it. So You're if you want awesome. to set up your own website, go to squarespace.com slash Tony and use the coupon code portfolio if you decide to buy no credit card required for 14 days. And don't get forget to book. check out the, you can get a book too. If you want to learn how to take better pictures, buy the book Stunning Digital Photography, over nine hours of video. Nine hours of video and it's a book that you can watch. There's yeah. book stuff too though, words and stuff. If it's free if you pay $9. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's sneaky marketing. I learned that on the TV. And if you like your stuff, get our photography sign guide. Sure. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Squarespace. Bye.